You never know what you're capable of until you give it a try. The world is a huge place, and there are many amazing things to see and do. But not every place or activity can be described as amazing. Some are just plain crazy. So, if you want to experience something truly unique, and in this video, we've scaled out 16 of the craziest and coolest things people do around the world, so that you can decide for yourself which one you want to try first. Especially our numbers 4 and 1 are particularly insane, so let us know if you dare to do this. Do you like travel? Are you curious about everything the world has to offer? Well then, make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to tap on that bell icon and turn on notifications. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 16. Climb a Frozen Waterfall, Alberta, Canada If you're looking to explore the world, climbing a frozen waterfall is one of the most unique experiences that you can have. In Alberta, Canada, many frozen waterfalls are accessible during the winter months. Not only will this activity give you a fantastic adrenaline rush, but it'll allow you to experience the beauty that only nature can provide. These ice walls range from 20 to 100 feet tall, and depending on how high up you want to go, it'll require different amounts of experience. So if you have the time and the money, this is definitely a must-do activity that's going to be one of the most memorable moments of your life, probably. <laughs> Number 15. Bungee Jumping from the Blaukrans Bridge in South Africa Bungee jumping in itself is the ultimate adrenaline rush, and this world-famous bridge located in South Africa is one of the best places to do it. The Blaukrans Bridge stands at an impressive height of 709 feet, and it hangs over a canyon. So if you're afraid of heights, then this is one you probably want to avoid. But if you're feeling brave enough, then head over to South Africa for an unforgettable experience. The jump lasts under three seconds, but that's all you need to feel like Superman. Number 14, Edgewalk CN Tower, Canada. I'm a huge fan of heights, and if you are too, then there's a place for you. Are you afraid of heights? Well then, hey, there's another angle here. You should try and overcome your fears here. The CN Tower is a great place to start because it's located right in the center of Toronto, and it's one of the best places to go if you want to see the city from above. It's a thrilling experience for anyone who wants to feel like they're walking on air. The edge walk at CN Tower lets you walk around on the outside of the tower at over a hundred stories high. The edge walk is very safe, but it's still an exhilarating experience to be able to walk around the outside of the building. It's an incredible feeling to look down at the city below while standing on a platform that's hanging over the edge of this massive structure. Number 13. Gorge Swing at Oribe Gorge, South Africa The Gorge Swing is one of the most popular attractions in South Africa. It's a giant swing that hangs off of a cliff and sends you flying over the edge of the Oribe Gorge. It's nearly 100 feet deep, so prepare yourself for a terrifying but exhilarating drop. This activity is sure to give you an adrenaline rush. The gorge swing launches you from the platform standing high above the ground, giving you a bird's eye view of the surroundings below. And as if that wasn't scary enough, it swings back and forth while you're midair. It swings so much that you can feel your stomach flip inside of you. You'll have plenty of opportunities to see wildlife too, while you're enjoying the views from your swing. Number 12. Bike Death Road, Bolivia Cycling down the road is a great way to see the breathtaking scenery of Bolivia, but there's one particular bike path that is going to leave you breathless. The Bike Death Road, also known as Carretera de la Muerte, or Road of Death, is a narrow dirt road full of cliffs, sharp turns, and no guardrails. It was built in the 1930s by prisoners and locals who were looking for an alternative route between La Paz and Coroico. Although it was closed in 1995 due to accidents, many people still use it today as an extreme adventure sport. The road has claimed over 200 lives since its inception, but if you want to test your mettle, then this is definitely the place to do it. Number 11. Ice Hole Plunging in Finland Ice Hole Plunging is one of the craziest activities in the world. It's a popular winter activity that involves jumping into an icy hole cut into a lake or a river. Yeah, the sport is a great way to stay fit and have fun at the same time. The water can be anywhere from 3 feet deep to 30 feet deep. But it doesn't matter because once you jump in, your body's going to go immediately numb from the cold. So if you want to experience this exhilarating adventure for yourself, head over to Finland, where ice hole plunging is a popular pastime among locals and tourists alike. Go there in January when the temperatures drop below zero and there is plenty of snow on the ground. 
It's a tradition that dates back hundreds of years in Finland, where cold water and ice are considered therapeutic. Number 10. Flyboarding Flyboarding is one of the most exciting water sports in the world. It's a new way to experience water, and it's also a great way to have some exercise while you're out there. Flyboarding involves strapping yourself into a jet ski-like contraption that propels you through the air and into the water. You can fly as high as 39 feet above the surface of your local swimming pool or ocean, making this activity perfect for thrill seekers. It's a great activity for people of all ages, and it's also a good workout. It can help improve your strength and your endurance while also, again, giving you an incredible sense of freedom. Try this crazy water sport out today and just see how much fun it is. Number 9. Snow Kiting Snow kiting is a lot like kite surfing, except you use skis or a snowboard instead of surfboards, and you fly through the air instead of across the water. Snow kiting is an excellent way to get that adrenaline rush that you need, and you can enjoy the powdery snow at the same time, too. It's a great way to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Snow kiting can be done anywhere. There's snow and wind, but it's uh, more popular in mountainous regions, with Helgesdal, Norway being the number one destination. Number 8. Volcano Boarding in Nicaragua Volcano boarding is a popular activity in Nicaragua that involves sliding down slides of active volcanoes sitting or standing on thin plywood or a metal board. Now, for uh, obvious reasons, this activity ain't for everybody. But for those of us who enjoy it, it's, they say it provides an exhilarating rush of adrenaline. It's like similar to snowboarding, but instead of snow, you're riding down a volcano slope covered with dust. Some companies in Nicaragua offer volcano boarding excursions. The best time to go is in the dry season, which runs from December through April. Number 7. Ride the world's tallest roller coaster, King Daka at Six Flags, New Jersey. The world's tallest and fastest roller coaster, King Daka, is, as you would imagine, a brutal experience. Standing at a staggering 456 feet tall, King Daka is the world's tallest roller coaster. The top speed of this behemoth is 128 miles per hour and has been voted as one of the best rides in all of North America. The drop is straight down, and there's no way to brace yourself for it. The ride itself lasts like two minutes, but it really feels like an eternity. If you do manage to survive this experience, then make sure you go back and try out the equally terrifying Superman Escape from Krypton. It's also at Six Flags. Number 6. Hike through Mendenhall Ice Caves in Juneau, Alaska Now this right here is a must-do experience. To keep things simple, when describing the Mendenhall Ice Caves, we mean a cave that is formed within a body of ice, usually a glacier, as water flows through the glacier and forms a passageway. The caves come and go as Mother Nature chooses and are only accessible to the most adventurous of travelers. When you step inside, you'll immediately notice the glacial ice surrounding you is cerulean blue. The ice appears as color because it absorbs all of the colors from the visible light spectrum except blue, which it reflects. Thousands of years of packed snowfall creates an enormous amount of weight and compresses air bubbles out to form the ice. The density of glacial ice and transmission of blue wavelengths is what allows this vibrant color and makes it super different from other ice formations closer to the surface. Anytime you're out exploring the Mendenhall Glacier or Mendenhall Ice Caves, it's always best and safest to go on a tour with a well-trained guide who will not only keep you safe, but is also going to give you the experience of a lifetime, wink wink. Number 5. Shark Cage Diving Cage diving with great white sharks, well, it's an extreme sport. It takes a lot of courage and commitment. It's a very popular activity in South Africa and Australia, where you can get up close and personal with these beautiful, yet dangerous creatures. You'll be placed inside of a shark cage and lowered into the sea, where sharks roam freely around you. It's a perfect way to experience this type of wildlife without, like, getting eaten. It's, it's one thing to see a shark on TV, but it's an entirely different experience when you get so close to one that you can feel its skin as it swims past you. Exceptional cave diving experiences can be had in South Africa, Isla Guadalupe off of the Pacific coast of Mexico, and South Australia, owned primarily to view the magnificent Great White Shark. Number 4. Wing Walking Wing walking is an extreme sport that involves climbing onto the wings of a biplane and standing or sitting on them while it flies. Yeah, yeah, this can be done with one or two people, depending on the plane's size. Wing walkers try to stay in sync with the plane's movements so that they don't, like, fall off of the plane. They wear special suits to protect them from the wind and the cold, as well as helmets to protect their head and neck. It's illegal in a lot of countries, and it requires extensive training to do so safely. 
Wing walking is an activity for people who want to experience the thrill of flying. Number three, go on a zero gravity flight. It's a dream that a lot of us have had since we were kids. A dream to experience a weightless environment that allows you to float, flip, and soar like an astronaut. Now you actually have an opportunity to do this by booking a zero gravity flight. Going on a zero gravity flight is one of the most exciting experiences that you can have. It's also one of the most expensive, costing upwards of $5,000 for a 30 minute session. But if you love space, science, and adventure, it's worth every penny. Zero gravity flights are a great way to experience the weightlessness of outer space without actually having to leave Earth. Now it works. A specially designed aircraft achieves weightlessness by flying aerobatic maneuvers called parabolas. Specially trained pilots perform these aerobatic maneuvers, which aren't simulated in any other way. The primary zero gravity flight locations are Cape Canaveral, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, and San Francisco, California. Once you've decided to take that leap, you can just stop by and make your reservations. Number two, Kwashan Trail, China. Balancing on just a wooden plank, climbing a high mountain of 7,070 feet, you dangle above a ravine hundreds of meters deep with only a harness around the upper body as a handhold. At some points, not even a wooden plank, but there's only a few holes in the wall where exactly one foot fits. A normal shoe, because size 8.5 isn't counted. To make it even more comfortable, you're not alone on the board, but about 30 people face the same challenge. It is the Huashan Trail, officially cliffside plank path in China, that is known as one of the most dangerous hikes in the world. Do you dare? even if you know that it's also one of the most deadliest hikes in the world. Yeah, the trail is very steep and strenuous, but it's worth the effort. The views are breathtaking, making this hike one of the craziest activities that you could try in the world. Well, before you die. Number one, base jumping, Norway. If you're looking for a little adventure, Norway always has you covered, from hiking and skiing and everything in between. There's so many crazy things to do in Norway. Base jumping is one of them. This extreme sport has become a popular activity in Norway because of its proximity to the famous Trollvegen Mountain, which stands at almost 3,000 feet. Base jumping is a sport of parachuting from fixed objects. The most common objects from which one can base jump are buildings, antenna towers, bridges, and cliffs. A popular form of base jumping is wingsuit base jumping. Wingsuit base jumpers, known as pilots, don full-body, aerodynamic outfits designed with baffled chambers that fill with air and create lift. Jumpers can glide forward at speeds of up to 140 miles per hour, steering through the air with mind-boggling accuracy like a high-powered flying squirrel. The sport is primarily practiced in Europe, particularly Switzerland, Norway, France, and Italy, where tall cliffs are easily accessible, and there are a few regulations. This is one of the most dangerous and craziest things that you can do, but if you're up for a thrilling adventure, well, then base jumping is definitely worth trying. So, these are some of the crazy activities that you should try before you die. What are your thoughts on them? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. Got a lot of content coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Later.